So today marks three weeks until I leave the army, effectively, after 26 years. 26 years sounds like a long time, and it is, it's quarter of a century. Um, so I, I say it quite leisurely, but you know, 26 years is, wow, it's 26 years. That's, you know, people, if you, did, if you kill someone, you'd probably be out before the 26 years was up. Um, but I put it into context anyway. Um, but yeah, 26 years. Um, so three weeks time, I'm a civilian and effectively I'm unemployed because um, although I've been job hunting and, and doing things to help around the house and stuff like that I still don't have a job or nothing firm anyway um, but I'm not worried at this stage, you know, my pension is going to be of a good standard um, and I'm quite relaxed that I'm able to try and pick and choose a job that I want to do not just something that I have to do just to, to earn money if that makes sense um, so yeah, three weeks to go. Um, I've got a couple of applications, in fact, one, two, three, probably about four applications that are still brewing at the moment. Um, I'm waiting to see what happens with those, plus a potential that could come into a more of a filming gig later on, but it's all good at this stage. Um, I'm not worried. Um, and I also have reserve service. I'm not done with the military just yet. Um, and I will be going into the reserves, so that's all good. I'm currently on what we call gardening leave, and that basically means, you know, most people use it to do things around the house, you know, upgrades, that kind of thing, and that's exactly it. So today, I'm getting on with this pile, um, and I'm just waiting on a skip coming, but still no sign of it yet. Um, but yeah, yeah, let's get cracking. See, we've been pulling all sorts out, old pots, brickwork. I've already dug out a piece of edging, and it looks like there's paving slabs under there as well. That'll have to dig out, but maybe the paving slab could find a use, a new home somewhere else, that's so not too bad. It'd be nice if there's more paving slabs, they'd just be hard to dig out. Um, the ground is fully rooted um, with ivy roots, tree roots. It's hard going, it's going to take a bit of time. It doesn't look like much, but. I've got to hack through it all, um, but we'll, we'll get shifted. So, what I'm facing here is basically 10 years of soil. I wouldn't even say soil, it's probably leaves fell off these trees here that have grown so rapidly. Uh, these aren't even in the photos that I'll put up in a sec. Um, these weren't here 10 years ago, they've just grown out of nowhere. But obviously all the leaves and stuff that these have dropped has turned the ground into this. Leaves dropping, then the ivy grows into it. And what you're left with is this kind of composty soil. It's just a nightmare to dig through. Um, but between the, so the, the shovel and the axe, I should be able to get into all of this and cut it all back and potentially move over to the, that area as well, do the same thing. Um, nightmare. Bit of a nightmare, but a couple of days and we'll get it done and get it sorted. But yeah, just grows like something chronic, it's like triffids. Let's get on with it.
ความเป็นพวกSo as you can see, the digging, we've actually found some old paving slabs. And these are like the really heavy ones. Um, I think they're very similar to probably the ones that we had in the front garden. Part of the driveway, you can see now. But yeah, progress is made. So it's day two of this little project and we're just going to give you a quick project, quick progress report. So we've dug it all out and we've dug about half of a four ton skip so far and you can see underneath the actual paving slabs that were down I think probably when we first got the house but obviously 15 years of leaves and other bits falling off these trees have made it into a big like giant compost file full of roots and ivy growing through it so it just takes a bit of time to dig out um, but a good two and a half hours two hours yesterday digging it hopefully we should have this crack today um, but I hope so because the skips are full but yeah yeah um, Sophie's been helping me she's been absolutely great um, yeah yeah happy days let's go Stand back, stand back, stand back. Come on, just squirt now. Okay. 
as you see we ended up putting the stone on the paving slab to make a small little patio here it's just temporary uh, we're going to get some fonts together and, and actually have this all decked out quite nice but it needed clearing first and foremost um, i also got rid of the bush the old bush that was at the back um, cut back a lot of the ivy cut back a lot of the overgrowth that was there and i've now got a big bag of uh, stuff to take the skip as well but as you can see job well done